for the director and for our managing director. And not only that, we have an athletic player here, Anita P. Padmashri, who is awarded as former captain of the Indian basket team and badminton player in Valen. And we do have actress Sujita, who is there. And as you all know, this program is to create the awareness we use. We need to use that's for CPCL for creating this awareness. Every year we come up with a new thing. Thank you, thank you so much. And now I request let's begin the program. We shall be, we shall be continuously, continuously striving to conserve, striving to conserve petroleum, products petroleum products in all spheres of our activities. In all spheres of our activities so that, so that Supplies of these scarce resources, supplies of these scarce resources last, longer. last longer for the progress of our country. For the progress of our country, we will, we will shoulder the responsibility, shoulder the responsibility of a good citizen, of a good citizen and endeavor, and endeavor to create awareness, to create awareness among the masses, among the masses to avoid, to avoid wasteful use, wasteful use of petroleum products, of petroleum products so as, so as to build. A new and healthy India, a new and healthy India for our future, our future generations, generations by ensuring a better environment. Thank you. Okay, so let's give a counter. So we are active and it's not a race, it's just to create an awareness. So go slowly. Your safety is all important. So accordingly, please. I'll just going to happen on the left hand side. I even request Anita P. Please sir, okay, sir. come forward for the. Our second flag off was also done uh, with our celebrity Sujita, Kumaran, and Kavya. I request for the press meetings. It's only to create the awareness. So please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, silence. Uh, Kalai Vadakam. Today is the uh, Saksham uh, 2022 day. And uh, it has been, uh, it's been celebrated all over India. So today we all uh, assemble and can uh, see a lot of uh, children, the prize, the participants. PCRA under the head of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. The purpose is very clear, and uh, we are moving towards the uh, green and clean energy. And uh, as our Prime Minister in the Modi he has also told that uh, in the COP26, Anchamris has to be done. It means that uh, the all uh, energy, whatever we are producing, it has to be more green and uh, clean from the renewables. You know that fossil fuels uh, are limited and it is also uh, creating some pressure on the environmental front. So we have to conserve the uh, fossil fuels. We are the, uh, you know, uh, the crude oil, we import 85% and then uh, LNG also around 50%. LPG also is getting imported. So all kind of energy which are you know keeping our economy and moving, is all kind of energy is getting imported. So we have to only two options. We have to conserve it and we have to be energy efficient. So energy efficiency inside the refinery we are already taking up by CPCL and. A lot of pressure is there for good housekeeping, for keeping our all furnaces, the uh, free heat systems, the flare loss and the steam loss should be less, fuel and loss should be less so that uh, the maximum value can be given to the every drop of the crude oil we import. And outside the refinery also, the, it is our prime duty that uh, we conserve the uh, oil. We should not get it waste and uh, 
transport fuels, we have to use it uh, efficiently. The cooking gas, we have to use it uh, efficiently. So TCRA uh, has given certain guidelines, we need to follow them so that we can uh, use them efficiently, conserve them. Because uh, energy saved is energy produced. So let us uh, take flesh on uh, today's good, uh, good day. All over India it is being celebrated here also in Manali, CCCL, that we will all uh, conserve fuel, use it uh, efficiently uh, and the conservation of the uh, fuel oil should be done and we will uh, go uh, smoothly from the, uh, the this part to transi transition phase to the green and clean energy. Thank you so much. What are the steps taken? And uh, you know the CPCL Manali refinery has already implemented BS6 uh, the standard fuel where the sulphur is uh, less than 10 ppm and we have also converted all our furnaces, uh, all our uh, boilers uh, on the LNG mode. We are getting the LNG from the NO4. So, this is the one of the biggest steps to reduce the carbon footprint and we are moving forward.